Hey there YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today we're gonna to talk about making a GPO or group policy object to map a network share. All right, let's jump into our domain controller here. And enter my password. Now I've got a couple of groups created and I've got a couple of user test users created. So we are going to put that aside for a second and get into our group policy management console. Uh, so GPM, let's open this guy up here. And we're gonna expand forestlab.lan. Let me move this over. This is actually a fairly simple policy uh, to create. Um, it, it's not, it's, there's not much to it, so it, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy to do. Let me jump back over here. Let me arrow down on domains. It is a, uh, it's a per user policy. We're going, so we're gonna create it here. I have my OU lab underscore users. So if we right click on this, create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Let's call it uh, marketing drive map. Uh, let's call it marketing M drive. So we'll create an M drive for marketing mapping. So click it OK. Now you can see that we have a policy, oh, let me drag it over more, uh, called marketing M drive mapping. So let's look at the default part of the policy. So if you click on it and you go to setting, the settings tab right here, it will show you, uh, let's close that, any of the settings that have been set. So this is just a regular old default policy. Um, if we right click on this and go to edit, it should open up another window here. We need to go to the user configuration portion and go to preferences to make this bigger. And it will be under Windows Settings Drive Map. This is where you want to create your mapping. So right now, there's nothing there. Right click in this white spot and click New. So create in this menu will create a new mapped drive. Replace uh, is going to create a new object and replace an old one. Update is going to overwrite or update an existing map drive and delete will delete a mapped drive. So today we're gonna click create and we're gonna find this file path here, which will be uh, backslash backslash lab FS01 backslash marketing. And I think we can check it here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, no, maybe not. We'll do, this is this is the uh, this is the full path to it. So we'll select reconnect, so it reconnects at logon. We'll give it a label of marketing. We'll pull the arrow down, and we'll give it the drive letter M. So we'll click apply. Now you've created your drive map mapping. However, everybody in that OU is now going to get the M drive or the marketing drive, and we only want our marketing people to get that drive. So how do you do that? Well, if you come over to the common tab here and select item level targeting and click the targeting button, we can tell, uh, we can select new item and we can tell it based on group. So we'll pick security group. So the user is a member of the security group and we'll select Let's see, marketing. So there we go. User is in group or user in group. Click OK and click apply. Now we've just created the M drive for our marketing users. So anybody in the marketing group is going to get the M drive. Now let's create the S drive for our sales users. Same process. Um, actually, we'll create a second GPO. I like to keep things kind of separate. So let's close out of this GPO. Let's create another GPO, uh, sales S drive mapping. And you can call it whatever you want. 
Um, so go over here, close that. That's fine. Right click edit. And the same, the same thing goes. Um, oops, I had it right. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Windows settings, so user configuration, preferences, Windows settings, drive map, right click, map drive, again, create, backslash, backslash, uh, lab, FS01, sales, or backslash sales, we'll reconnect it, give it a label of sales, we'll select the letter to use as S, you can, again, you can give it whatever letter you want, this is, this is just what I'm picking for this demonstration, click apply, let's go to the common tab and select item level targeting, select targeting, and we'll do the same thing, security group, and we will put it in sales. Click OK, click OK, apply. And now let's go over to, let's close out of our domain controller and come over to one of our Windows 10 lab VMs here and go to the console, go to browse or browser console, and let's log in as one of our test users here. And I forget which one is the marketing user and which one's the sales user. I have two of them. Um, and this guy, this gentleman was logged in already. So let's log him off. So these policies should pull down at logon. There are other ways to map a network drive. This is probably the most scalable and easiest way to do it. Some companies will do it with a VBS script or a batch file, um, something along those lines. Um, this, is, this is how I will traditionally do it uh, in an environment. All right, now we've logged in as our user here. Let's see if our drive has been mapped. So open up your file explorer and go to this PC. And there we go, we can see, so John is a marketing user and now we're in the marketing drive. With that being said, let's log out of our marketing user and let's log in as our sales user. And I think it's Fred Test, I think is what I called him. Yep, there we go. So now when Fred logs in, he should not see the marketing drive, but he should see the sales drive. And this is the first time Fred has logged on to his computer. Uh, so you may see this message here uh, when you're working in your lab. So let's give this a second. Hey, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's find our file explorer here. And go to this PC. And there we go. Now he has the sales drive. Let's say that we had a public drive, let's do one last drive here. Um, so this will be a drive that everybody gets. This will be like an open share for everybody. Um, so let's do this, let's log off of our user here. And let's go back to our domain controller. And we're gonna create one more GPO. It is possible you can, you can absolutely do this in one GPO. Um, I typically will do it in different GP. I, I will do things in different GPOs so that it's, you have one GPO for one item. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that put all their drive mappings in one GPO and there's probably different reasons for that. This is how I break it up. Um, so we can go here and create, let's do public drive mapping, public B drive mapping. We'll call our public drive the P drive. We'll edit this guy here. Same process. Preferences, Windows settings, drive mapping. This time we're not gonna do item uh, level targeting because um, everybody's gonna get this drive. So if you're in the domain, you're gonna get this drive. Um, so we'll do backslash backslash lab FSO1 
public. We will reconnect, label it as the public drive. We'll call it the P drive. We'll click apply, we'll click okay. And now you have just created the P drive. So again, let's go back over to our lab workstation here and open up the console. Log back in as Fred. And now Fred should have the sales drive and the public drive. So the S drive and the P drive. I apologize, this is a little bit slow because it's over my internet connection. So let's go to our file explorer again. Go to this PC and there we go. Now we have the public drive and there's nothing in them because it's my lab. And we have the sales drive. Let's log out of Fred test user. Let's make sure our marketing user has both the marketing drive and the uh, public drive. So let's go to File Explorer again, this PC, and there we go. There's the marketing drive, and there's our public drive. All right, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Uh, if you can subscribe, turn on your post note, your, the little bell in the lower, uh, I think it's the left-hand corner. Uh, or right hand corner I, I can never remember I'm doing it backwards <laughs> uh, so if you can so you can see when I post the latest videos um, if there's something you want to see uh, go ahead and leave me a comment below if you like what I'm doing leave me a comment below thumbs up thumbs down and uh, if you can subscribe that would be much appreciated and uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for more IT related videos